In this video, I'll show you how to create a responsive TumultType document to embed in your WordPress site. Now this works only for self-hosted WordPress sites because WordPress.com does not allow embedding JavaScript or iframes. So to start, I'll show you how our finished document looks. You can see it adjusts based on the width of our post. A great way to test your document is to open up responsive design mode. In Safari, you can enable the develop menu by checking show develop menu and menu bar. And once you have this, you can also use this to determine the available size of your post. So when we're at our largest available size, we can control click on our post area and see that our div which is holding our post content has a width of 600 pixels when our browser is at its largest size. So you can see that when you hover over different elements. You can use responsive design mode to also find the minimum size. So if we jump to a width of 320 pixels for example the iPhone 4s or 5s you can hover over entry content again and see that the available width is 258 pixels. So this will be our smallest layout size when we create our responsive layouts. Now we can switch over to Hype and build this document. We'll start by opening the Layouts tab and creating our middle layout size, which we will set to be 420 pixels wide. We can also create our smallest, which will be 258. So now that we have our layouts, we can resize our elements and get everything aligned. You can quickly scale groups by holding command while you click and drag their corners. This is a, a pretty quick way to get everything aligned. Okay, now we have our separate layouts and we can test in responsive design mode again to see how that looks. This is all set to go in WordPress, but it is missing the sort of smoothness between layouts. So if someone were to load your document at this width, they would have a little bit of space on either side of your document. Using responsive layouts, you can get those three breakpoints, but you'll need to use flexible layouts to create properties in between your breakpoints. To set up flexible layouts, first turn on scaling in the width dimension. It's important that you don't check scale on the height dimension when you're embedding into a div without a set height. For virtually all WordPress themes, the post area does not have a set height. It will grow based on the content within it. Setting scaling on the width dimension lets you make the most of the responsive layout properties and hype, and you can easily adjust the height of your different layouts by adjusting this value. If you need to set scaling on the width and height dimension, we recommend loading the HTML file that hype exports and not placing this within another div. So now that we have scaling set on our layout, we're going to set width and height scaling for this background image in our middle layout. We can see how this looks by clicking preview and then switching to our middle layout. Let's go ahead and do that on our smallest layout as well. Make sure you have your scaling set in this layout. And then we can go ahead and make those similar adjustments. So we can see now that we have a scaling background image and that works well up into our largest layout. Now you don't need to do any flexible layout properties for this largest layout because there's nothing after this. This is as large as our document gets. 
Let's also center these groups. We can select these two groups and make sure that our group bounds are correct. And then we will check this box to have this element centered on the page. We can do the same thing for this layout as well. So that's it. We now have our element centered on the page. We have our background image expanding and we can go ahead and put this into WordPress. Our final step is to get this on the web. We're going to place it on our folder by exporting and this will create a HTML file and a resources folder. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in HyperEdit which will show us a preview of it on the right. To get this on the web, I'm first going to connect to my server using the program Transmit. This lets me make a FTP connection to my server. I'm going to follow a convention and keep my media in the uploads folder that WordPress makes. To keep it a little separate, I'm going to make a folder for it and call that 1-responsive. This name can be anything you choose. I'm then going to drag and drop my resources folder onto this folder to upload it. So I need to get the full URL of this JavaScript file and adapt my original exported HTML code on the left. So in Transmit you could click copy URL or copy path and this will help you sort of cheat a little bit and print out some of the path. So I know my URL is this and I can test it by going into Safari and pasting this JavaScript file. So confirming that it actually does exist there, I can now adapt my embed code by replacing that here. and I can confirm that it actually does load. So now I can use this embed code that I just created, copy it, and switch over to WordPress. I'm going to make a new post. And I'm going to make sure I'm in text mode, and then I'm going to paste it. I can remove the HTTP colon here to ensure that whether I load my site over a secure connection or not, my hype document will always display. So now I can preview this and make sure it actually works. So there we go, we have a responsive document in WordPress and we're all set. If you have any questions about this video, please join us on the forums. Thanks.